What's up ladies and gents, Sinistrino1 back at you, bringing you a demo this time. Newly released, it's uh, Tuesday right now, May uh, 7th I believe. And uh, we're gonna bring you Fuse, that's right, this is for the Xbox 360. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get right into this, I haven't played it yet. So it's gonna be kind of new, um, I've, I've read a little bit about Fuse, but not too much. This is from those uh, great guys that brought you... Um, Pretty much mostly PS3 titles, Ratchet and Clank, and uh, Resistance, of course. So we'll give um, you know the brightness up just a little bit so you guys can see it on the screen. Uh, it looks like so this is an EA game, and I'm actually looking forward to this. You get some superpowers from aliens and whatnot. So we're gonna go ahead and get into the settings here and make sure everything is set up uh, the way that we want it. Definitely want uh, subtitles and all that on. Listening mode, speakers. I got headphones on right now. So I definitely recommend putting some headphones on if you want to uh, listen to this in all of its glory. Sound has just got so much better in games and I, I love using headphones. I believe I have, uh, I'm not sure, oh yeah, okay, I got uh, X12 Ear Force uh, headphones on. So these are really great headphones and they're pretty cheap nowadays since all the newer ones came out. So uh, Waypoint always on, we don't need that always on. Subtitles enabled, alright. Controls. Sensitivity, you know, I like my sensitivity a little bit lower than normal, so... Alright, so I think we're ready to do this. Alright, hopefully you guys enjoy. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and let's play a demo. Ah, oh, I guess you can do matchmaking too. This is a co-op game, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we'll put it on friends can join. I'm not sure if anyone's even online, but you know what? If we get people join with us, uh, why not? Alright, so Dalton Brooks, you can choose, I guess, between four people. Sweet. Let's see what uh, each of them have to offer. Dalton Brooks is a former Raven soldier and leader of Overstrike 9, so this guy is the leader. Prior to working for Lyndon Burgess, he worked for Raven Captain Melin Mao, whoever that is. Uh, you can customize the agent as well. It comes with a mag shield. All agents benefits from the team perks you choose. Uh, let's see what else. Jacob Kimball is a former LAPD robbery homicide detective recruited overstrike by Burgess. Arc shot. Velocity with. Cool. Alright, Naya Devereaux. Prior to working for overstrike, Naya Devereaux was a contract assassin who worked with her father, Luther, when Raven recruited him. She joined overstrike in hopes to bring him in safety. So, this. She is more of a stealthy player, so that's pretty cool. She's got a cloaking ability, it looks like. Bride uses with a cloaking ability to aid in stealth assassinations. Antimatter, and we have Isabel Sinclair. Isabel Izzy Sinclair is an intelligence expert who made her living selling information to anyone who met her price. So, with fuse enemies and living crystals, secondary fire deploys a mad beacon. So, you guys know with the uh, Resistance series, you get some cool weapons and different ways to use them. I always remember the different uh, commercials that they came out with uh, back in the early 2000s when they were trying to show off Ratchet and Clank, the kind of real world trailers which were always funny I love those so we're gonna go with the stealthy character and we're gonna see what customizing agent does every time your agent levels up you're in a skill point and can upgrade some of their skills obviously we haven't played the game so we've got no skills available to us yet um, so we G doesn't look like we can get that just yet but I guess we'll take a look so activate cloaking mecha mechanism alright so I think we're ready to go we already know which uh, character we're gonna play so uh, let's do it Alright, so Raven Facility, let's see here, random agent, okay, so pretty much it just gets you with AI, you can change the difficulty, it looks like there's only normal for the demo. Uh, the Raven Facility in Karyokram was Raven's primary tech development center before going rogue. Raven used this facility to, to manufacture their enforcers and develop weapons for their soldiers. Alright, so without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and get into it. Hopefully you enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, like these videos as it helps the channel out a lot. Uh, lots more gameplay coming up for all kinds of stuff. Hopefully you will enjoy it. Thank you. It's go time. We call it Fuse. Living matter recovered from an L6 classified event in the early 20th century. It's volatile. Unpredictable. It took almost half a century just to figure out how we could stabilize it long enough to test. And when we did, we found that the military applications were limitless. And now it's in the hands of a rogue military contractor. 
Raven is in possession of technology light years ahead of the rest of the world, and they wouldn't have stolen it without a plan. So the target inside the nucleus was the source. What can Raven do with it? Anything. Fuse uses subatomic resonance to radically augment any element it binds with. The result is oftentimes violent. We need to recover it. Now. I know he's your dad and all, but we have to have a serious talk with him about the way he treats people. All right, so here we go. We're almost there. How long's it been since you saw your dad? I mean, before Triton. It has to be a little over a year now. Dalton, did you know him? Yeah, I know him. We worked together once in Stockholm. I don't think he liked me very much, though. He called me garrulous, whatever the hell that means. I like him already. Alright, so it looks like we got some platforming, something we haven't seen in Resistance or... But we've seen a lot of that in Ratchet and Clank. Oculus, we're at Raven. Copy that. What do you see? About half a dozen sentries, all armed with savages. Nothing can look at him. What? Relax, I'm kidding. Naya, what's our end? There's a breach point up there, through those vents. We'll have to find a way to cut the power, though. Alright, so it looks like my character is Jennifer Hale. <laughs> uh, in a lot of games, she's usually in plays mostly all those awesome girl characters women characters it's just it's great she's such a great voice actor um i remember seeing her i believe the first thing i ever saw her in was uh metal gear solid so all right so warp rifle this is our weapon that we have i guess for our specific character press rt to fire anti-matter rounds firing enough rounds on one target will cause a wormhole to devour that target paint several different targets with warp rounds then kill one of the targets set up a chain of wormholes that's pretty cool Upgrade the warp rifle with antimatter coolant and skills menu to do different chain reactions uh, to give you also the ability to cloak herself. So we don't have that ability just yet. Alright, so every time your agent levels up, you can earn skill points. When, oh, so it's finally given it to us, it looks like. Um, let's see here. So we're one of three, one of one. So we already have this skill point, as you can see. So we do get to start off with it, so that's pretty cool. Let's see what else we can upgrade. So level 3, Warp Blast with 30% more damage to nearby enemies. Increase weak spot and headshot damage. Oh yeah. So we'll do one of those. Uh, increase maximum health by 20%. Wow. So we can't do any of these yet because they're unlocked. So, more firearm damage when cloaked. So that's cool. That means you can actually fire weapons when you are cloaked. So that'll come in handy. Cloaking costs 20% less. That'll probably come in handy, I'm sure. And we've got no more points. Alright, so here we go. Activate leap. Oh, sweet! I forgot about that, yeah. You can change between any other characters. I guess this is just when you're single player. So now it goes over the different weapons for him and what he can do and whatnot. But that's uh, really cool. We'll check out all the different characters we have here and see what different firearms they have. Shattergun. And last but not least, Arc Shot. So this is more like the sniper rifle. So this guy is definitely. He's good for sniping. Ooh, it's kind of like a bow. 
Nice. Could totally get a headshot right there. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go with our stealthy character. Alright, so is there a crouch or no? Or Alright, so we can easily take this guy out, but obviously we're not going to do it just yet, not with that guy in the area. Until he gets a little further up, I'm not sure if this is going to cause uh, everyone else to hear, but might as well give it a shot. Sorry about that. <laughs> You're not sorry. So you can vault over stuff. That is just sweet. She is a badass. Alright, well here we go. I knew there he's gonna come around anyway, so we got a little bit of stealth. That is just holy shit. Wow. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh, what are you doing, huh? Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Target neutralized. All right, so we got some more enemies here. What do you say we take a look at our sniper? We take out these enemies on the top here. Hey, that was my. Oh, come on! Right, I was in the middle of about ready to kill him. Oh cool, that was a really cool kind of weapon that he had. Wow, that creates a wormhole in one shot. There is so much going on right now, it's just... Look how all of them jump off. Oh, look at that shot. Ah, I got me. What's up now, bitch? Nice. Haven't found the reload button yet. Or maybe you can't reload this weapon. Alright, let's check out some more. Let's see, let's go with the guy. I love the fact that you can just switch between characters. That is so sweet. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Holy crap, look at this thing. like you're invincible. And you can, of course, you can drop the shield anytime you want as well. It's probably only really a close-up weapon. Yeah, so it just sends out like a kind of blast. Now that is pretty cool. Oh, are you gonna hit me like that, you little shit? Huh? <laughs> Alright, let's switch. Let's go with her. We haven't used her yet. Not a lot of enemies in this. A very, very small zoom. Wow, oh my god. Now that is cool. I'm sure you have to finish them off and whatnot. Like little balls of fury. Oh man! Over here! 
Stay down, I'm coming. Oh, sweet. Okay, you so you can revive. Ah. It's like watching this stuff. It's like so awesome. Let's go back to our stealthy man. Or not stealthy, our sniper. I see you. And you're dead. I'm taking the shot. Nice. Looks clear. Come on. All right, so I got to get to use to the, or get <laughs> kind of what's going on here with the controls here. I want to make sure that I know them. Press RB to trigger arc shock bolts. LB has, uh, I guess, grenades. Direction pad is your different weapons. 